Don't forget to bring your own water bottle and you can top up during the course of your holiday. So this is the way to the beach, uh, you need to make sure you've got your room card, otherwise your whole holiday is going to be on the beach and you're going to be stuck because you need your room card to come back. So when you come back up, room card, or you can buzz if you're in trouble with the camera. So we're going to work our way down to one of the few golden beaches around here. Bit of yoga going on up the top there. Okay, it's a bit scary coming down there and lots of the posts have given way, but it's worth it once you get here. It is lovely, but this trip down to the beach is not for the faint hearted. As you can see there, that one has fell off, it's broken. Yeah, that's going to be quite a climb back up. Drinks are very easy. Pretty much is everything is self-service. You've got Strongbow here, you've got Amstel, lots of coffee machines, most of them made from beans, good range of wines, and you've even got the proper Coca-Cola, or if you want Coke Zero, juice. And these stations are all around the hotel, and all around the restaurants.
Welcome to breakfast. You get a chance to see the sunrise from Fort Aventura. It's one of those life moments. It's awesome. People's videos haven't made it really obvious that the hotel is built into a cliff, so there's lots of steps and lifts that do part of the journey. So if you're in a sloping cliff, so there's no one lift that'll take you top to bottom, but to get from reception right down to the beach is a long way. It's a lovely, but it's a long way if you've got any mobility issues. One of the reasons we like to in magic is the entertainment in the excellent in the evening is excellent. I'm not a fan of karaoke, but I do like live bands and sort of West End type performances, and you do get that here.
Okay, so I hope you found that uh, really So we're going to have a look at the room now. Now this is a room with a sea view. There's not that many in this complex, and that's around £108 extra. When you are booking up, then price bounces around a lot. So we've paid £800, all inclusive, and in flights, transfers and things with TUI for this week. But if you've been doing it the week before in half term, then it was £1,650 each. So have a good look at what date, if you're gonna come here to get the best price. At the end of this, I'll do some pros and cons of this hotel, this two Magic Hotel. So you've each got your own air conditioning, and it is quiet, it's nice, you can uh, sleep with it on. This is the bathroom, you've not got a bath, you have a big shower, a drain shower, a hand shower there. Uh, you get one little bottle of hair shampoo come body lotion, so make sure you bring your own bits and pieces. And you've got a hair dryer, and that's about it in here. It's all okay. Towels are changed daily, just leave them on the floor. You've got maid service every day, including the weekend. You'll be given a credit card sort of token thing that you can swap for beach towels. Uh, you have to drop that back at the end, or that's gonna cost you 10 euros. Now you don't have a lot of storage, to be honest, and this is common with a lot of more modern hotels. So this one here, this has a safe in it, which is good big enough to get a laptop in, and a fridge that has some cans in, which are apparently replaced. You get one bottle of water at the start of your holiday. That's not been replaced, and it's glass, so it's difficult to refill. There are water stations all around the hotel, but just make life easy. Make sure you brought a water bottle yourself so you can refill that for your room. There's not many hangers in here, so you need to bring your own hangers, and this is your only storage space. So you've got a big telly. Um, I've turned it on, but apparently there was just one British station, sort of a BBC thing. And you've got a fair bit of space. You've got a little area there. We've got somewhere here. You have got internet. It's included in the price. It's not going to set the world alight if you need a lot of broad, broad width, is it? Bandwidth, sorry. And, but this is the business isn't it so this is we've seen it earlier on my film i think a shot one of the sunrises it was one of the best sunrises i've ever seen in my life this is your sea view now we're on the ground floor here so the way the numbers run is it's your block number then it's your floor number and then it's your room number but this is ground zero there is a massive drop here as you would have seen earlier on to get down to the beach so if you have any um, difficulties with steps and that this is not the hotel for you it's full of steps and lifts and but a massive flight of rickety steps to get down to the beach once you're there it's an awesome beach and you've got this turquoise wonderful clear sea it's amazing it's a golden sandy beach which obviously is quite unusual for the canaries if you're higher up in this block then i guess you're going to get a better sea view Right, bear with me, I've made a notes of a few bits and pieces of my pros and cons for this hotel to help you make a decision. Is Tui Magic Life Fort Aventura the one for you? Don't forget to subscribe, I need your support. Okay, so to help you make your decision, and I've actually done some pros and cons, I've written down so I don't miss anything. Um, overall, this is an amazing hotel, and the cons they're minor things really, but they may be a problem for you. So let me run through those. There are some issues with maintenance here. We've got a light that doesn't work next door, it's got a block sink. When you look at the main pool, there's loose tiles everywhere, so you've got to watch your footing. And although we've reported both sides, nothing's happened. So there are minor niggles over maintenance, which is a common thing with a lot of two hotels. You're a long way from the airport here, and you're going to be the last drop because you're right at the bottom of the of the island so you're going to look at about a 90 minute transfer and even if you've got a taxi there's only really one road it's not going to speed it up you're going to have a decent transfer and they're going to drop everybody else off before they get to you here although this is a family hotel it's also a nudist hotel so one of the pools is for nudists only the beach there is a lot of new blokes down there where they're tacking out so if that's going to be a problem for you and your family this possibly isn't the hotel for you. Um, there's no coffee in the room, there's no iron or iron board, which means you've got quite a long walk to where the laundrette and the shots are to be able to do that. As I said before, watch the prices. 
a la carte dining, really complicated rules. You do need to download the TUI Magic app to book anything, even if you want to do archery, you can't just turn up, you've got to book it on the app. You have to have the app. It's on Apple and Android, so make sure you have got the TUI Magic app. And then, depending on who you talk to, you can book up one a la carte included in your package for a week and then you pay 10 euros for each other one but they, they're not open each night and one of them was open the night we arrived so we couldn't go there and it's not open again until the Sunday after we've gone so we've got no chance to do but we are going to go tomorrow to the tapas so we'll see how we get on there they're really minor things would they stop me coming to this hotel no I really loved it I think it's good value for money food is exceptional the main magic buffet here is one of the best we've seen anywhere in the world and we've been to quite a few buffets it's awesome it rotates around what it's doing it's big you help yourself to drink so you're not waiting for people to bring you stuff you've got draft wine you've got draft beer you've got proper coca-cola products it's brilliant the view to wake up in the morning and get that or to be able to look at a sunrise it's one of those magic moments you have to be up early on to see it but it's fantastic also you've got that comforting sound of waves you can see the door open but you've got the sound of the sea there it's just lovely that is worth 108 pound extra the entertainment is really good it's not open every night there's different bits of it but they have a bespoke theater and the bespoke theater here wherever you sit you can see it in so many two hotels where they do the entertainment you've got pillars all the way along and you're trying to look around stuff or the last one that we did the blue in Grand Canaria they had an African act but they couldn't do it because the ceiling was too low so they ended up doing it outside here you've got a bespoke theatre and when it's not running actual shows and that it's used to show Top Gun and, and film it's used as a cinema and next door uh, you've got an area, the plaza, that has lots going on as well. They also have entertainment in the lobby, and that's quite exceptional as well. So if entertainment is an important part of your holiday, this hotel is definitely going to get a big thumbs up. As are the staff, right? They are all exceptional. We've met and interacted with a lot of staff. They're witty, they're funny. They make it worth coming to this hotel just on its own. So don't forget, you must get the hang of that app, because you're going to miss out on a lot of stuff here otherwise. This is Paul from London, while well, I'm currently in the wonderful Fort Ventura. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe, I need your help. Any questions, pop them below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as you can. I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!